The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. How's the chapman? Yeah, this is the Tuesday, the sixth edition of the Tiger Technicians Hour. We've got Dow up 50 at 38,429. So I need to just mention, uh, first of all, that in the waveform that I've studied for years and years and developed, when you get a buy signal that's upgraded to a buy mode, invariably the price goes to four higher peaks, goes to a peak D, and then you've got to be careful. Other things can happen. It continue higher. It can have a biggest decline. You can saw, saw, you can see right here that it went sideways for the whole period of uh, mid-December to January when it suddenly took off again. Most importantly, I'm looking at this weekly chart that says this is a – an incredible leg A, and this will be, I believe, the 15th week. Let's just count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, this is the 14 weeks straight up with basically, except for a couple of weeks, higher highs and higher lows. That is incredible. The technicals in the daily chart are starting to wear a little bit thin, but that nine-period moving average is still above the 14. To me, that's the uh, tool of last resort. And even more important is that in the weekly chart, you've got, look, the nine, let me get my arrow, my pointer rather than that. So this says the nine period moving average is way above the 14 and the price is way above the nine. That's really bullish. The MACD is still has a very strong nine period differential. That's the green line above the uh, 26 period moving average. And the histogram is starting to diminish a little bit, but it's still very strong. That's the vertical lines. That means that measuring the distance between the faster moving average and the slower moving average is starting to, is starting to shrink. But the stochastic at flat is what you want to see at 97.53. That is 2.47 away from 100%, which it, it I, I did see one recently. I meant to take a picture of it. I don't even remember where it was. I think it was in a 120-minute chart, and that was very – I've never seen 100%. Usually it fails under, under 100. No, it doesn't fail. It doesn't, it doesn't get to 100, and then it stalls. But this is very strong, and that's just saying is that even though I've been talking about round numbers, round numbers, and what does it mean, this number of round numbers, uh, until something actually starts to trigger – uh, some kind of a sell-off where the futures are down f almost 50 points early in the morning. The Dow is down 335 to 375 points. The Qs are down. The SMHs, the semiconductors, are down. And then there's a rally that's attempted, and that rally fails. And the next, that at the end of the day, it closes towards the low of the day. And then the next day, it attempts it again, and it gets repeated for at least two out of three sessions, preferably three out of four sessions. That's a bare phase. We don't have that right now. Just the fact that the Dow is attempting, it went over 100 points high to this after yesterday's pullback, says to me, this is an unfolding, a kind of a distribution type top and very selective in the sense that the SMHs, semiconductors, Oh, wow, they pull back today. They're down 250 at 192.37. Possible exact double top. 185.90 was the high of the uh, of January the 25th. And today's high is 195.89. It missed it by one penny. And that's the same thing in the, in the weekly chart. You've got a PD with a long-legged doji candle, a green candle, and then a pop this week, and we'll see where it lands. But the monthly chart is only in the C, and that C says that we should still go to a D. Now, the reason why I was talking about the Dow maybe having just enough residual strength to get very close. Let me go back, because the most important thing is that the semiconductors 
usually lead the market up, lead the market down. They've continued a little higher. Um, NVIDIA was a very important component, one of the lead components. Here's NVIDIA, let's see where it is today, probably pulling back a little bit. <clears throat> down 15 after making a new recovery high, uh, 679.54 is the high today. Yesterday it had a run of a 672. If it takes it out and closes below that, that's starting to warn that that 666 round number high that was made three sessions ago, that's going to become a target. So as I'm looking at this, and one of the reasons why we've started shorting one of the indexes is that in this particular phase, uh, the spectacular move in leadership, look at this weekly chart. Remember I was talking about parabolic. This is not yet quite parabolic. It has gone vertically up, but that weekly chart is, is really something. And if you're looking at, uh, and I had a question, I'll do it right now, about MU. I'm going all the way back to the down a moment. The MU, that's Micron Technology, had a double top at 96.96 back in 2021, 98.45 at the beginning of 2022, a year later, um, having gone down to 65, having been cut by a third, and then comes all the way back. Um, and now it's, and then the next uh, big move was down to the 40s, and now it is at 85. And the question was, I'm long, I would like to add, what should I do? And I'm going to make a suggestion here, which is a little different to the, what the question was. To answer the question, I would say, why don't you wait? That's number one. But if I'm looking at it right now, the question is, do I buy, do I sell, do I hold? What should I do with Micron? I would just say, if you're long for money management at 85.86, um, 85.67, I would take a little bit off and I would wait and that amount that you take off, I'd be prepared to put it back on. However, it is a PD confirmed in the weekly chart with a doji candle high. Let me just give you the exact high. In fact, I'd like to go to the daily chart. I'm always looking for round numbers. 88.50 uh, was the high. Uh, anyway, surrounding it. Nope, I don't see any round numbers yet. But anyway. Uh, what I am looking at is that peak D, little double top there, and the pullback here hasn't yet gone to a sell signal. But at the end of the day, I'm watching it closely. If that nine period moving average, which is green, goes under and turns pink and goes under the 14 period moving average, especially with a weak MACD, a weak stochastic on balance volume starting to pull back from being overbought, I would go to a sell signal. I might even immediately upgrade to sell mode in the daily. Nothing yet on the weekly. So where would I add? I'd have to wait for the 82 to 80 area to be tested, and then we'll see. Right now, what I'm saying is I would take a tad off, and I'm going to say exactly the same thing about IBM, which was your question. There's no other way that I can count this. I'm going to just do a little study right here. On the 8th of January, the low was 157. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can make a case for a phantom peak going to a D, but that looks like a D, even though it's a C. IBM, I'll get back to you in a moment. It's a, it's a Dow component. I'll talk about it. We're coming right back. Hold tight. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. And uh, to go with the twist, I will go through the uh, numbers in a moment. Now is up 73, holding quite nicely. I'm anticipating just a little more strength. It's probably going to make a peak C1. It's called the peak C1, C2. If it fails, just fails to make that leg D and then start down. Meantime, back at the ranch, I was asked about uh, ANET, ANET. All of these go together. So ANET is Arista Networks. Spectacular move. I mean, look at this monthly chart. Gone to a leg E. Huge move to the upside. A G slash B in the weekly chart and a G in the uh, – Daily chart. Now, this is really interesting. So I've got one, two, three, four. These are round numbers over the last two weeks that I've written there. I don't remember whether they're highs or lows. I know that this 260 was right here. And like yesterday, no, three days ago, it hit 276.99 as a high. Right? That's on what is today? Today's Tuesday. So that must have been Friday. Uh, 276.99. The next day, it has a round number open of 275.00. I mean, this doesn't happen by accident. It happens because people, not your regular people, it's usually fund managers, are just desperate to say, i got to get in. I'm missing this thing. Or they just say, get me in or get me out. And they just press the button with a round number and say, at 275. And uh, that shows up. And I find that it's, it's really telling. And it says that this cluster between 260 and 275, if it's filled and we start to trade in February uh, under 257, decisively below the 260 level, that just says this entire top is going to take a long time to build the power to break and get into the 278 area up above the, the last high. And that's what I'm saying. So the question came in, uh, being long, uh, we spoke about it just recently. Uh, is this a time for looking at puts or calls? Because you asked me the question, and because the way I'm looking at it right now, the daily technicals are starting to weaken, but that nine is still much too strong over the 14 period moving average, and the weekly chart is fabulous. Both of them have weekly, daily, and weekly are uh, the unbalanced volumes are extremely overbought. That's the clue for me. And I'm going to say, why not today's February the 6th? I would go for speed rather than time. 
So I would say to you Friday, the, the third Friday, uh, the monthly options, that's kind of the way I would look at it. And I'd be looking at, it's at 2 uh, 55 right now. These fives are looking like sixes. This is actually a 266. Um, yes, I would look at the two. I'd prefer to be in the money, but as close to that as you can. So 265 puts. I would look at the 265 puts. I wouldn't get too carried away, but and you right now because it's dropped sharply. There's more of a premium, preferably if there could be a bit of a bounce to 268, then I'd look at the 265 puts and um, I'd, I'd be trading those. Since you're talking about options, that's what I would do. If you were thinking of shorting, um, shorting right here, 260, I'd say 262 would be my buy stop. Um Keep missing it. Those are sixes and not fives. It's 267. So 267. You got 27327 is the high of the day. I, I'd have a tough time using uh, um, shorting. I, I'd much rather use puts at this point. There could certainly be a little pop up at any, any stage. But the way it's looking, this is creating a kind of an oval pattern that could be a chapter with stalk leg formation that says watch out if it suddenly breaks above 278. I just don't think that's going to happen right now. Let me just, oh, I forgot all about it. Let's look at the one minute, 120 minute chart. Here we go. 120 minute chart says A, B, C, 1, C, 2. That's kind of what I'm expecting in the Dow. That went A, B, same thing there. Yes. Okay. It's a lot clearer here. So, um, yes, it's it's much easier. I would I would go for the two. It would be in the money. You can go out the money and go for the two seventy. Maybe maybe the two seventy. Wait for a little bit of a pop up. But that was the one that I probably. And you're paying a little more of a premium than I would like. So don't get carried away. You might want to put in something now and a little bit later if there's a pop up. But I do look to see that within the next two weeks it should. Test the 265 level. I keep saying the wrong ones. 255 level. So you're at 266 right now, 10 points. And if it takes that out, it's going to drop quite a bit sharper. So that's what I'm looking at. <clears throat> Where would I put a stop? Even on, if you have a put position, I'd put a stop. I probably wouldn't even want to wait for 273 to be tested. Is it 266? I'd put a stop, even a mental stop, on one of the positions in, in a put position around. I, I just need to give it time. But you do need to think, so So what would I do if I'm wrong? Two, 269 or 270, I'd take something off and say, oops, it's going to be a bit of a problem. It needs to work right now. Okay, with that said, let's do this. I said we were looking at um, the daily chart. Oh, there were two, two questions. Yeah, Boston Scientific, uh, before I forget, BSX. BSX had a spectacular move. And then it made 65 round number high. And this is amazing. Look at this. The all-time high was on the 2nd of February at what? 65.00. It opened at 65.00, and the high was 65.00. That's not good enough. Yesterday, the high was what? 65.00. So it's had two round number high, all-time highs in a row. Today, it's at 64.20, not a big deal. But that just says to me, even if there's a pop to the upside, if you start to close decisively below 65, that's in the 63s. That's going to become a really strong resistance level. And look at this. I didn't even finish doing this. Look at that. This is a leg E in the monthly chart. You've got your month, sorry, in the weekly chart. And the weekly chart has a round number high. Isn't that amazing? Round numbers and talking about double tops, that a potential double top. Boston Scientific, fantastic move. Uh, going, going from the 35s, uh, what was that? 35. <clears throat> Uh, just over a year ago, announced at 64. Very nice. Very strong. 
Okay, so for the questioner, um, what should I do? I would say the same thing. Take something off. Just because it has round numbers doesn't mean to say it's going to go from 65 down to 58 in a straight line. I'm saying this is where I'm anticipating that it's going to be developing a resistance level. And that resistance level says that uh, the upside, while you could go higher, there's a chance you'll come back and test the 65s. So this is where I would take a little bit off money, man. Wow, done. Uh, let me just get back to my down. I N D U trading at uh, up 66 at 38,444. A lot of questions, got a lot of things to go through. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, folks, we're back, uh, and now we're going to look at the balance here. Balance is like, what do you think? The balance data fusion platform is trading at 21.30, up 4.5, 27%. Yesterday, it was looking lousy. A couple of days ago, it's trading at, uh, I was asked about it, it was down in the 16s, maybe 17s, and I said, you know, um, I don't see anything yet. It's made a very quick peak. A, B, C, D. Remember, these where other things can happen. and pulls back very sharply. These are big percentage moves. I mean, back in November, it's trading up in the 21, almost 22 area. 
and uh, the next month is trading uh, down in the 15s. You know, percentage-wise, that is a big, big turn down. And then what do we get? We get an earnings report. Obviously, it must be something like that today. Everything looks fantastic. Uh, peak D in the month in the weekly chart, and all of a sudden it's retesting that high that was made. Uh, let me just get back to that. That was in November of last year. November the 21st, it's 21.85, and today, what is the high? Raise your hands if you think you can guess, 21.85. Now, would you have known, I, you know, would, would you have put up with that kind of loss and then said, you know, I just, well, for those who persevered and believed in the company, absolutely fantastic. Now, look at the symmetry between the arch on the left side from the 2024 high of August, the week of August the 4th, 2023, pulls all the way back to the to the 13, 14 area, and then runs up to that 21.85 level, peak D in the weekly chart, pulls back, and then it has the same spike to the upside. One penny above that, 21.85, starts to take D in the, week, in the monthly chart, and in fact, the tacticals start to improve, but... Look at the characteristic of this thing. See that big green candle in the weekly chart? Well, started off and ran up, ran up, ran up. Let's go to the monthly chart. So the monthly chart has this huge green candle in July of 2023. A low of 14 and a high of 20. I'm just rounding it out. Then it takes three months and it makes this arch, this arch pattern turns around, pulls back sharply, and then it spikes to a higher high. Big green candle. Whoops, two months of red candles. And then it goes to a, well, it has made an extra penny higher, but it goes back to retest that high. So the character of the set, and it's going to be a leg D, says just be a little careful because it tends to give back a chunk. But does it give back because of market conditions? Or is this something brand new that with – Excellent earnings. I, I believe they have a lot of government contracts. Is this in play now? So I want to do it as objectively as possible and say, look, if you're looking to get in, if you're already in, we do have a couple of tigers that uh, got in. Um, I'm going to say bravo because yesterday you probably weren't expecting something quite as like a 26% gain. Here again, I take a little bit off as a reward. Just money management, and then I'd watch it closely. At any point in the next three to five sessions, if there is a close under today's low of 19.76, and then it closes back in the 20s, that's a good sign. If there is a close under it and the very next session goes even deeper, be careful because these givebacks are very, very strong. So, yes, so with Palantir, if you're long, uh, I believe um, the questioner was long, Keep, stay long, take a little bit off money management, and then let's monitor it. We'll look at it together over the next couple of days. But all I can say is I'd be watching the 19, uh, give it, make it 1940, give it a little room, maybe even the 19 level. A close under 19 says, you know, uh, not everything is quite as kosher as it looked earlier on today. So that's the only thing I'd look at. Definitely, you've got your position. Try to keep your core position. This is in play now because if it has good earnings, has such a big move when the market is a little bit tentative right now, that's a good sign. But the close is important. Let's just look at the uh, let's look at the ten minute chart. Here we go. This is the E mini that made a peak C failure in the ten minute chart. Peak D um, Chapman wave. Um, oh, this is the what I call the unconventional flat base restart went down. Now to try to test the uh, 200 period moving average of 49.64 is doing it right now, 65. But actually, if the E-mini can go to 49.72, that's going to be very important. And at least to do that by about 12.15 today, we're now at 10.35 in the morning. Let's go back to Palantir. We want to look at it now in the 10-minute chart. Yes, you see what I'm talking about? See this huge move and how it's starting to give back, give back, give back, but still well above the low on a purely technical basis. I'm watching it closely. 20.59 is the 5-minute 
14 period exponential moving average. If it closes below that, it says, oops, got a little carried away. There's a chance that it could retest the low of the day. The low, that's the gap up high, but the low of that gap. So um, that's the way it looks. Right now, it looks as if on the one-minute chart, it's holding quite nicely. It wants to start to maintain. I'll draw this rectangle in right here and say, this is kind of what it looks like now. So where would that low be? That low would be right there. Um, yeah, same thing, 20.50. So that's your key support for the day. Hope that helps you. Next, let's go back to ESH24. Just and now I can get back to Astro. Okay. So with that said, I think I've covered a chunk of questions. Oh, wait, I've got another one in the den. Is that right? Um, uh, let's see. Where was that question? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, PSTG, PSTG, postage. Uh, what was that? That was packaging. I think it was packaging core, right? Oh, in fact, I think uh, someone that I had was a subscriber at some point worked for them. Uh, let me see. This is. Uh, what did I say? It was PSTG. PSTG. Postage used to be, wasn't it the stamp company and then they went out of business or something like that? This is Pure Storage Inc. Ah, it's a storage company. PSTG. All right, Pure Storage Inc. Leg F in the uh, weekly. It could be an alternate count in the monthly chart. Weekly chart finally got, got to a D. It's in leg D after B. Now, I, I need to mention this on a purely technical level for those of you who use chapter wave methodology. Um, if, you, if you see this peak C and there's no other count, and now it's pulled back and taken weeks and weeks, months, in fact, before it started a new leg D, what happens very often is if that particular D doesn't fail very quickly, if it stalls, it actually becomes almost like an instant restart and you can have a brand new move to the upside. So this is pure storage ink. Storage companies tend to uh, do well in good times and in bad, especially in bad. Um, and this is, as we speak, within pennies of an all-time high. Just want to see, is that it? Yeah, so here we go. Here's your low. Gap down, good green candle that was back in no late November, and now it goes peak A. Peak B, got a peak coming up. A, yeah, I'll finish the talk during the break and come back and talk about it. Peak gap. All right, good. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I, I, I just realized so the question was. Uh, what we were looking at that has uh, early coming out Tuesday. Let me just go back to this, and I don't, I don't want to make a mistake. A Tuesday week, I think you said, right? Yeah, and I'd spoken about options, but I, I have to be careful here because I forgot about the the uh, Tuesday. Let me see if I can see. It. Uh, uh, oh, A-N-E-T. Okay, let me just go back because that makes a difference. I completely forgot that you had said that it, it has earnings. So I would treat this A-N-E-T. -N -E Let's just get back again. Thank goodness I saw that because, you know, with earnings, we just saw what happened with uh, Palantir. So this is a little 257 right now. Um, as a very short-term trade, you could think of the option. But I would, I, why play games? You know, if you're in real good money, then take a, a chunk off if you've got the put and it's worked out. But d going into Monday, I would just leave it clear. And if you are in the stock, it's fantastic. Uh, very often with stocks like this that have gone to all-time highs and they're in the sweet spot, which this has been in, um, anything can happen. So don't put yourself at risk after being so you know so methodical and so good about keeping your position uh, to just waste money. It's better to say, oh, I, you know, you could uh, commiserate if in fact you were correct and it did plunge and you would have made a fortune. But what if it goes up and then you you take away all those gains that you made? I, I would have only something looking to the short side over the next uh, couple of days going into Monday. And then we'll, we'll just talk about it as we get there and we'll look at it again. But don't don't play games. Let's just go back to, oh, you know, I, I did make a mistake. And as I was in the break, I said, you know what? It was posted, it was stamps. And in the den, somebody typed in STMP, yes. So this is, of course, uh, this is different. So let me just go through. They all have the same kind of pattern. And this is at all, just about all-time highs. And we've seen that some of the stocks, certainly in the tech, this is not in tech, this is in storage. Now, is it pure storage? Oh, is this pure storage? Not This is not storage like, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the PSA, um, some of the storage companies. This is data storage. Okay, that's different altogether. So this is in the tech sector. And those tech sectors, when they've had big earnings, like the ones at Meta and all the ones that have come out with earnings, even Apple um, have had this big spike to the upside. Here again, just got to be careful. Now, let me just go back to this to say um, it's acting really well. There's a consolidation, just like almost all the others. is like this um, rising wedge formation right here, like that. Um, so anything can happen and go any way. It's done so well so far 
I I don't want to be the one to get you into the, the wrong position when you've been in the right position all this time. You've done your homework. I don't want to mess around. Uh, what I am going to say is this. It, when, I, when I say take a little money off, I think that's the prudent money management thing to do. But let's, I'm putting them down. Let's follow these stocks because over the next few days, it's going to be very important because, as I say, it looks to me like there's some kind of a large distribution phase going on with all these round numbers. It's so unusual. Why would you set a, a high, uh, you know, a range of uh, data that's coming out here and you suddenly say, get me out at 225? Instead of just putting it in at a certain price you know, that you think is appropriate, 225.50, the round numbers just for me are just from my history of looking at it. Maybe that's the thing that's going to trap me and say, wow, you're completely wrong. This is the start of another big move to the upside. I don't see that right now. So once again, just take some money off. And if it starts to trade under, this is uh, pure storage. If at any point it closes under 3980 was the low of the 31st of, of, of January, if it closes under that, you're looking at uh, some decent consolidation unfolding. That's the way I have to look at it. A uh, couple of questions came in. Let me just get to them. You know what? I'm not going to look at the question. I didn't finish this. I don't want to finish it. Let's just go back. So the Dow right now is trading up 38.457. I'm anticipating that somehow or other we get very close to the 38.783 uh, all-time high, and then we're going to have to see exactly what happens with all these round numbers. Because of it, uh, I'll just do this quickly. Here we go, S&P. Right now, it's come back a little bit, and it's up 23 at 49.43. This is not this is not what you get in a bear phase. You get those huge futures uh, declines that close at the low of the day, then try to run each day, then close at the low of the day. That's bearish. This is not. This still remains fairly bullish as it stands right now. I don't want to get in the way of thinking, uh, over-anticipating. It just doesn't do. Or even though we have a short position, it's a small short position. We'll handle it. It's not a big deal. We're actually covering it with a, with a long position. It's almost like a neutral position. But it is a position that says, I'm anticipating a sell-off at some point over the next uh, week. Uh, we're looking at the QQQ down at dollar twenty at four twenty-seven. Little potential double top 40, 429, 25, 430, 24, and four thirty twenty-two today is the high. We'll see what happens. There's nothing technically wrong, other than the MACD started to pull back. That's okay. Stochastic still at eighty-three percent on bound swing, pull back. Nine period moving over the 14 is still very positive. That's the QQQ. Let's look at the XLK. The XLK is trading at uh, down dollar 14 at two one point fifty six. And with that said, uh, the weekly chart is still at the peak C. Then we should still see a D. So that's a short term. It, this could be chap wave, um, J and H pattern, and we'll know soon enough. Here's your A. I'm calling it a gray A right now. Um, and it had, did make a peak G slash C and says, hey, very often it goes to a D. We'll see what happens just on a purely technical basis. The 9 is over the 14. That is very good. Um, now I want you to look at, I didn't get your, let's just go to gold. Gold is up 10 at 2053. It's in this trading band going sideways, not doing, we were looking at H and Y the other day. Let's see where it is right now. Harmony. At a peak D, you remember peak D is where other things can happen. Yep, it's pulled back uh, from the uh, high sixes to the 613 level, peak E in the weekly chart. So that just says, yep, it is pulling back. Let's look at silver. Silver at this stage is trading uh, up at 12 cents at 22.50. Not a great pattern. Uh, it's got that H pattern, that arch formation. So it's not if it closes under 22 at any point in the next few days, that's a problem. Let's look at the dollar. Oops, let's look at the dollar. The dollar's trading. Um, made a little double top here. 104.59 is today's high. Yesterday's high was, I think it hit 60. Yeah, 104.60. So just a little bit of a pullback. Let's look at the EUR USD. This is Euro dollar. Uh, that's trading um, just about unchanged. And look at.
Yeah, we're looking at the USDJPY as we go into the break. And that did again. Yeah, a little double top there, uh, trading at 148.01, down to 67 cents. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, see you in a Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So, talking about round numbers. Look, 1284.55 was the budget for high uh, back in the uh, 24th, 24th of January. Since then, it's at a 1281 round number high and a 1230 close in one of the sessions. That's 1180.00 round number low. And it's trading today popped up to 1272 
12.11, and it's trading right now at 12.33.38, down almost 10. This is just telling me that the market, this particular instrument is getting a little tired and you're starting to see the round numbers. Anyway, so we've got a Lily coming out with earnings. And what is the earnings? <clears throat> really strong. Hits a 742. I, I didn't know this. I just did this. 742 round number. 742.000. All-time high today. Leg F. And just be careful. That's what I'm saying. Have a... Uh, I'll be back with Tom later on. And all I can say is, just got to be a little careful here. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at something really unusual. As we said, it's a big, 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 absolutely. So just be careful. Hey, see you tomorrow. <laughs>